Hey there, I'm Jennifer Bands, and today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm gonna show you how to make this keto chicken noodle soup. Okay, the first thing we need to do with our keto chicken noodle soup is we've got to cut our spaghetti squash, so, or bake our spaghetti squash. So this recipe uses spaghetti squash as the noodles, and I've already um, cut a hole in this and then microwaved it for five minutes just to make it easier to cut. So now I'm gonna use a very sharp knife and I'm gonna actually cut it differently than I've ever cut it before. So we'll see how this works. I'm gonna cut it like, like this. I've heard that that makes it quicker to cook and also you get longer spaghetti squash strands. So I've got a really sharp knife and so it should be pretty easy to cut. Yeah, because my, my knife is sharp and I've microwaved this for five minutes. Okay, I'm liking this so far. After you microwave it, you just want to make sure and cool it for a little bit, just so it's not too hot to handle. So I'm cutting it into about one inch pieces. And now I've got a foil lined sheet tray that I'm putting the pieces on. Hopefully they all fit. Okay, I'm gonna roast these at 425 degrees, um, probably for 20 or 30 minutes. We'll see how long it takes since I've never done it this way before. So I'll let you know the perfect amount of time. While the squash is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of the soup. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of oil to my pot here. I've got a big size uh, Dutch oven, heavy bottom pot, because this recipe makes, it's very high volume, has a lot of broth. So you wanna make sure and have a nice size pot. I've got a cup of celery, a cup of diced celery, and a cup of shredded carrot, or diced carrot if that's what you have. And we're gonna saute these until they're soft. We're gonna saute our vegetables for about five minutes till they get soft. Okay, our vegetables look good. So now I'm gonna add chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We've got six here that we've chopped into bite-sized pieces. So I'm gonna add that. And we're gonna cook these for about eight or so minutes. I've still got my skillet on about medium to medium high heat. I mean, not skillet, my pot. I'm also gonna season this with a half a teaspoon of kosher salt and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, our chicken looks good, so I'm gonna season it with a half a teaspoon of dried basil and a half a teaspoon of dried thyme and a quarter of a cup of soy sauce or tamari if you need gluten-free or even coconut aminos will work. So we're gonna use that liquid to scrape any burnt on browned chicken that's stuck to the bottom of the pan. I like to do that before I add in the broth so you're just not sloshing a whole bunch of broth all over the place. That is looking good. So now we're gonna add eight cups of chicken broth. Here's four, and then I'll add four more. Okay, I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit while our noodles are finished cooking, our spaghetti squash noodles, because that's our final step. That's all we have left to do for this recipe. Okay, we've got our roasted spaghetti squash out of the oven. This roasted at 425 degrees for 25 minutes. And I just wanna show you how easy it is for these to get the seeds out of the center. It's, you literally just use a fork and just scrape around and it, they just come right out. It, this is like, this is like game changer. <laughs> I know I'm late to the party, but this is a really amazing way to roast spaghetti squash. Okay, now we're going to scrape all of the inside squash out of all of the skins and throw it in the pot. Now we're just gonna work that spaghetti squash into our soup. And this makes a lot of soup. So you could make this, oh, forgot a seed. So you could make this into four very large servings where you would be like, oh, so full, but it would still be 
not that many calories and carbs or you could make it into six servings it is really up to you but this soup is done I already tasted it it didn't need any seasoning it's perfectly seasoned okay oh my gosh look at all the spaghetti squash and chicken mm-hmm Now we can season it with some green onions. And how good does that look? Okay, let's get a bite. Mmm, that is so good. It has so much flavor. The green onions really, really add good flavor to it. So I wouldn't skip those unless you just really hate green onion. But this recipe is very, very good. So be sure you check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.